Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. This podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com forward slash TBRN. And the TBRN is in all caps. You will have your chance to select uh, over 150,000 different books to try. The one that... uh, you might want to take a look at if you do have tinnitus or know someone who does. This is something that I wrote last year and Audible just accepted it a few weeks ago about my journey with tinnitus and what I found in dealing with it and what you know you can expect and just kind of a way to help you along. You can find more about that book at www.booksbyron.com forward slash audible dash TMS. Okay, this time we're going to talk about making your own console cable. In recent years, Cisco has started shipping less and less cables with their products unless you specifically order that at the time you place the order for the equipment. All you really need to have is a USB to serial adapter, an R- a DB9 to RJ45 adapter, and what's called a rollover adapter. And what that does is that takes a standard Ethernet cable and makes it appear like a console cable so that you get immediate connection into your either router or switch whatever you're going to talk to then all you really need to have past that point is an ethernet cable and a flash drive for those of you who are not watching the video version of this podcast what i've got on the screen right now is pretty much a garden variety usb to serial adapter In recent years, they've really made them pretty affordable, and they're very good in terms of their handshaking with getting RTS and CTS and everything to work right, so you shouldn't have a problem there. The one you see on here is about $15 to $20 on Amazon, and I've yet to have a problem with this particular one. What you will also need to have is a DB9 to RJ45 adapter. That will convert your cable you're using so that it can hit the proper pins on the DB9 serial port. The rollover adapter is going to be the secret sauce. That is what takes a standard Ethernet cable and makes it a console or rollover cable. And what that really does is on a, on a regular console cable, pin 1 on one end goes to pin 8 on the other end. This adapter allows you to use a regular Ethernet cable, so it's one less cable you have to carry, and let's face it, you can always find an Ethernet cable pretty much wherever you are. You will want to have a flash drive in your little bag of tricks because you'll want to have the drivers for whatever USB to serial adapter you're going to use. You'll want to have the drivers for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Just in case whatever workstation you're using doesn't already have the drivers installed, you've got them with you. And then you may want to have PuTTY and TerraTerm in there as well. TerraTerm is very handy for when you have to upload a new binary to either a router or a switch the old-fashioned way using the exponent file transfer protocol and that's the only one I found that still has that support in it well that's the end of this podcast we appreciate your time we're available on stitcher iTunes and subscribe on Android so in addition to this being on the YouTube channel uh, please reach out if there's something you'd like to see me do a write-up on and go through the process let me know. You can also subscribe to automatic email notification when I do have new items posted, so you can always keep up on that as well. And thank you very much for your time.